Today we're going to learn about making rough sketches of quadratics in factored form. So here's my quadratic, and I know it's in factored form because it's the product of two groups. To make the rough sketch, I'm going to find something called the x-intercepts, which can be found by making the y value equal to 0. So I'm replacing with f, the f of x with 0, and our job is going to be to figure out for what x values will this product be equal to zero? And those will be our x-intercepts. So to do that, we're going to use something called the zero product property, which says when you have a product equal to zero, either the first part of the product is equal to zero, or the second part of the product is equal to zero. And now we can go ahead and solve these two equations. To solve for x in this equation, we'll add 5 to the other side. And then to get rid of the coefficient of 3, we'll divide 3 to the other side. And that'll give me 5 thirds is equal to x. And what this means is, I have an x-intercept at about 5 thirds, which is somewhere about here. More than one, but a little bit less than two. Now I have another x-intercept I can get out of this equation. So I can subtract eight to the other side, giving me negative eight is equal to x. And this is my other x-intercept. So negative eight is probably somewhere way over here. And so now I have two points. My next job is to figure out which way this u is going to open. Is it going to be a right side up u facing and opening upwards? Or is it going to be an upside down u where it's going to open upside down or downward? The way you determine that is by looking at the leading coefficient of your function in standard form. So I'm going to convert this partially to standard form by distributive. And I'll distribute the 3x to the x, which gives me the first term is 3x squared. Now I could go ahead and distribute the rest of the terms here, but I'm not going to, because I really just need the x squared term. The rest of the terms are going to be constants or uh, linear terms. And what this tells me is that I have a positive leading coefficient, which is greater than 1. If it's positive, that means it opens upward, so it's going to look something like this. And because it's 3 and it's greater than 1, that must mean it's going to be pretty steep. So it's not going to be very wide, but it is going to be very steep. I'm going to see if I can make this, this graph. So I'm going to come downward, go through the x-intercept, go pretty steeply down here, and about halfway through I start coming back around, go through the other x-intercept, and come on up. And so that would be a rough sketch of my quadratic in factored form. 